This video is basic antenna resonance fundamentals. So there's a few things that we have to know before we start talking about antennas. One is about resonance. A vast majority of antennas are based on resonance, including the monopole and the dipole, which function as resonators at a particular frequency. The resonant frequency, waves of current and voltage bouncing back and forth between their ends, creates a standing wave. Thus, these antennas function best at frequencies near their resonant frequency. The half-wave dipole is probably the most widely used antenna element. At its resonant frequency, the wavelength is slightly over twice the length of the half-wave dipole. A quarter wave, on the other hand, or a monopole antenna, consists of one arm of the half-wave dipole, with the other arm replaced by the connecting ground, or equivalent ground plane. The diagram shows us a half-wave dipole driven at its resonant frequency. This theory also holds true for receive as well. You'll receive your best reception if the antenna is resonant. So now let's get into a little theory. To calculate for a half-wave dipole, we're going to take 468 over the frequency in megahertz. And for a quarter wave, or a monopole, we're going to take 234 over the frequency in megahertz. So now let's punch in some numbers. Let's assume we're trying to make an antenna for 2 meters. In this example, we're going to use 146.52. So we take 468 over the frequency in megahertz, which is 146.52 megahertz, and that equals 3.19 feet. Now for the quarter wave, we take 234, again over the frequency in megahertz, which is 146.52 megahertz, and we end up with 1.59 feet, or 19.16 inches. So here are some examples of a quarter wave antenna. An AM broadcast tower, a quarter wave ground plane, the antenna on your handheld, not to mention your car radio antenna, and the antenna on a boombox are all examples of a quarter wave antenna, commonly referred to as a monopole. So let's do some more deep diving on this. For example, you like listening to your neighborhood AM station. They're at 1150 kilohertz. So let's convert that to megahertz. 1.150 megahertz. Now let's see how big their antenna has to be. Well, a half wave is 406.9 feet. And a quarter wave has to be 203.4 feet. So as you can see from the picture on the side, you see the tower and you see all the insulators going up. This is an AM broadcast tower. They actually use the tower itself as the antenna. And the ground itself is actually the ground plane. And one last example of a monopole antenna. If your favorite FM station is at 105.7, to make a resonant half-wave dipole, it would need to be 4.43 feet. And a quarter wave would need to be 2.21 feet, or 26.5 inches. So now you know why, if your antenna on your vehicle looks like this, you don't get very good FM reception. Dipole antennas are very popular. Unlike the quarter wave or monopole antenna, they have a physical second element and range from a tri-band HF antenna to an outdoor television antenna. So now let's calculate for a dipole. Again, 468 over the frequency in megahertz, in this case 14.3, gives us a half wavelength of 32.7 feet or 16.3 feet per leg. Okay, one last one. Let's say you're putting up a 40 meter dipole in your backyard, and we'll calculate it for 7.150 megahertz. So we take 468 over 7.150 megahertz, and that gives us a half wave dipole, 65.5 feet. Now for the quarter wave, again it's 234 over the frequency, 7.150 megahertz, and we end up with 32.7 feet. Briefly, I'm going to discuss phased arrays. Basically, what they are is multiple dipoles in parallel with each other to increase the overall gain of the antenna. Prime examples of this are an FM broadcast antenna, a television broadcasting antenna, and even cell phone towers use phased arrays. So that's basic antenna resonance. I hope this video has been helpful. And 7.3s from N9LVS.